yeah, I'm a little flustered right now because I can't find my passport. <laughs> As much as we hated to leave this lap of luxury, in order to see all that the Arabian Peninsula has to offer, we had to hit the road. En route to our next destination, we got a chance to see many of the iconic staples along Sheikh Zayed Road in Dubai. Standard room tour. We've got a balcony view of all of Dubai. So we embarked on a seven-day, six-night cruise aboard the MSC Virtuosa. 
Ours was a Bella State room with a walkout balcony that, as you can see, got a lot of use. We chose this cruise because of the iconic and historic itinerary through Arabia. Things, however, didn't turn out quite the way we expected, but I'll share more about that experience later. Good morning, it is day three of our cruise and I'm a little flustered right now because I can't find my passport. <laughs> Long story, so we'll, we'll talk about that later, but we have an excursion to go to this morning. Hey guys, so what I was saying is we are going to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque um, and we were running behind, as you can see, I'm complete, we're completely in our regalia now, um, but we're heading there today, that's where our first excursion is, and I was frustrated because I made mention that we, I could not find our passport, but what happened is when we boarded the ship, they took our passport. Um, I'm not sure what that protocol is. I don't ever recall having that have happened before. But of course, because I'm the manager of our travel documents, I was freaking out this morning. Um, and it really just put a, a level of unnecessary frustration on the day. So hopefully that is just a little blip on the radar and we'll have a good day today. It's hard to speak with the masks on, but hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have a better day. Our start was a little rough, but hopefully we'll have a better day today. Yeah. So we had two before, but that changed. Now we only have this one. This is that is the einzige zweite restaurant that we noch in uh, Abu Dhabi have. Before we had two, but now we have just one. I know there may be a lot of comparison between the seven emirates of the UAE, especially between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, but this capital city really is unique and beautiful in its own right. It also doesn't hurt that one of the most lavish houses of worship is located within its midst. <laughs> The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is one of the world's largest mosques. It is a testament to the very best of Islamic, Moorish, Ottoman, and Mughal architecture. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque broke ground in 1996 and was completed in December of 2007. Its total construction cost was 2 billion dirhams, which is the equivalent of $545 million. The mosque features 82 domes, more than 1,000 columns, several 24 karat gold gilded chandeliers, and the world's largest hand knotted carpet. Do you want a picture? Do you want a picture? Okay.
The mosque has four minarets, two of which are shown here, and each are 348 feet high. There are 1,192 pillars in the mosque. 96 of them helped to construct the interior hall. The interior pillars are encrusted with the semi-precious jewel, Mother of Pearl. Although I couldn't show it in this video, there is strict security and cultural protocol to abide by before entering into the mosque complex. There is a host of restaurants, stores, and gift shops at the initial entry of the complex as well. There's also a series of security checkpoints specifically designated for men and women that extend along the more than a mile corridor leading into the mosque. To the right is an example of one such cultural protocol. It doesn't work. Of the dome structures, the biggest one is 279 feet high and 107 feet in diameter. The interiors of these domes are adorned with intricate Moroccan art. Excuse me, keep moving faster, please. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, please try to move faster. Faster, please. Excuse me. The mosque has seven luxe crystal chandeliers located in the main prayer hall and other foyer entrances. Made by Fostik, Germany, these chandeliers are infused with Swarovski crystal studded glass panels. All these chandeliers are made from brass, stainless steel, and around 40 kilos of galvanized gold. The largest of these, which is also the second largest in the world, adorn the main prayer hall. It is 49 feet high with a diameter of 33 feet and weighs a whopping 12 tons. The other six weigh closer to eight tons. For the faithful who want to perform Salah, there are generously adorned clocks that aid in the tracking of the five observed daily prayer times here. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque was built with 100,000 tons of white marble imported from Macedonia. In 
In addition to all its other grandeur, the Persian carpet in the main prayer hall of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is the largest hand-knotted carpet in the world. It covers an area of over 61,000 square feet and took two years to be completed, trimmed, and transported to the mosque. Around 1,200 artisans worked on the carpet, creating nine different parts that were later assembled and weaved together into one piece. A lot of people recommend visiting the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque at night. This is because the lighting system is just as unique as the mosque itself. It is designed to illuminate the mosque structure based on the different phases of the moon. For instance, just like the moon takes a different shape, the lighting cycle of the mosque saturates its facade with darker hues to reflect the early moon and brighter shades when the moon is full. If we ever make it back, we'll definitely have to visit at night. Like on this box at the angle would be really nice. We are just rounding out our Sheikh Zahid Moss experience. A quick pan, you can see the beauty that is the moss. And this is one of the, actually it's the fourth largest mosques in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. And it's fantastic, it's beautiful. It was surreal. Just th thinking about the hands that have put work into building this place, the time and the attention um, to conserve faith important I think I think what are some takeaways that you feel are it's big. <laughs> quite massive it's like 50,000 people from Troy grandeur it's a stadium of prayer yes it, the capacity for prayer is 50,000 at any at one at any one given time very opulent as well Um, very secure as well. Um, we were required to provide uh, security QR codes to get into entry. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, those QR cards, uh, the QR codes, and then you needed a green pass. Detector. And you yeah. needed your green pass um, well, verifying well. that you are. Um, you've gotten your COVID vaccination. But yeah, it was beautiful. During the 11 years of its construction, it took 38 different contracting companies and more than 3,000 workers and artisans to bring the building to life. With its reflective pools, marble mosaic courtyard, and opulent design, the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is hands down one of the most spectacular landmarks in the UAE. After our visit to the mosque, we did do more guided touring of Abu Dhabi, but posting that video just seemed pointless since the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque would obviously be a tough act to follow. Once we took a nap, showered, and dined, we did catch a few evening shows. This particular group of singers and actors were really good throughout the cruise, but if you ask me, I think that Amateur Night proved to be far more entertaining. Yeah. 
I don't know what it was about these two, but once our good sis here got some liquid courage in her system, it was like a gentrified version of you got served on the Lido deck. <laughs> Oh, it's pudding. Oh, Lord. It's chocolate. Go ahead, get the thing over to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, we spent a lot of money on them teeth. <laughs> <laughs>